Now, for more than a year now, a group of people in Grand Rapids have been pushing back against a controversial partnership between local law enforcement and immigration and customs enforcement. Then on Sunday, the Kent County Sheriff announced the contract won't be renewed. But as Whitney Burrs reports, protesters say that it's not enough, and as long as local law enforcement works with ICE, immigrant families will live in fear. This was the scene on Saturday afternoon at the Kent County Sheriff's Office. A group of protesters filling the department's front lobby calling for the end of a contract with ICE, a demonstration at least 15 months in the making. So there's ICE violence, yes, at the border. We see that on the news, but what's not always caught is the violence that happens right in our neighborhoods, um, often secretly. So we need to uh, hold those accountable. The contract in question calls on the county jail to hold inmates in connection to illegal immigration. The policy was heavily scrutinized after the jail wrongfully held a U.S. citizen and Marine veteran for three days last year. The department later amended their policy requiring a judge to sign off before someone is detained for illegal immigration. Contracts should never have been instituted in the first place. Um, it was beyond time for the contract to end. Quinn Burke has been protesting against the contract with GR Rapid Response. As long as ICE exists, immigrants will not feel safe. So Kent County needs, if, if they want to truly be a welcoming Grand Rapids, if they want to truly be a welcoming city for all people, they need to end all complicity with ICE. Following Saturday's demonstration, the department released a statement saying, quote, the current contract with ICE will expire on September 30 as ICE is not seeking to renew the agreement. They go on to say because of the amendments they made to the protocol requiring a judge's signature, ICE was not interested in the renewal. The department says they plan to still work collaboratively with ICE. Protesters say it just isn't enough. Not just ending the contract, that is not enough. Um, that doesn't secure safety for our immigrant neighbors um, and that's really we want this community to be welcoming and safe for those that live in it. Well the sheriff's office made it a point to say they collaborate with all law enforcement agencies due to ensure public safety, due process and the rule of law for everyone who lives in the county.